Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rattur. I have done MD in pharmacy medicine and today we will continue with medical aspects of wounds in that we will discuss about death in custody or custodial deaths. Death occurring in some form of custodial de detention is commonly known as death in custody. So any person who dies during a detention in a prison and dies, it is considered as a death in custody. It may include death in police cell or a prison or when the death resulted from police or a prison officer attempting to detain a person. So if the police officer tried to catch a person, catch an offender during that time, if he dies, that also considered as custodial deaths or a person escaping or attempting to escape. So if he is escaping from prison or escaping from the officer, that time also if he is caught, died, that is also considered as death in custody. So coming to uh, during arrest, the death caused during arrest, the person may die because of traumatic asphyxia where when the offender when they resist arrest and number of police officers fall upon him and over to overpower him. So it may happen when the person is trying to escape and during arrest the multiple police officers may fall on the person and because of that the person may not be able to breathe and may lead to traumatic asphyxia the person may die because of that. This may also lead to some blood injuries to the chest or a head injury from falls against the ground or wall etc which may result to death. Next type during arrest is hog tying. Hog tying is a type of physical restraint in which the person is placed in a prone position that is in the person is uh, against the uh, chest. The person is facing the ground, the chest is facing the ground in with, with his wrist and ankles are bound behind his back. So in this the person's chest is on the wall, ground and his and, uh, arms and legs are tied behind him. So that is a hog tank type of restraint. So this type of restraint may lead to person may uh, because of uh, restraint the person may not be able to breathe properly and person may be, uh, lead to asphyxia. The person may have uh, may have or may become unresponsive and death may occur because of varying degrees of asphyxia because of difficulty in breathing. Next type of uh, during arrest person may try, the police officer may try to choke or Carotid hold. In choke hold, the forearm is placed in the front of the neck. So here, the forearm is placed uh, parallel to the neck. So in this uh, condition, the person may, uh, the officer may, may free hand of the officer may grip the uh, wrist and pull it back, which causes obstruction of the airway, and carotid artery may lead to immediate unconsciousness. Rarely, death may occur because of hypoxia. Pressure on cardiac bodies may also cause death because of sudden cardiac arrest. So here, the arm is placed in front of the neck and it is compressed by using the wrist and uh, using the other hand too. So here, uh, the arm is placed in front of the neck and the free hand of the other police officer pulls the, the this hand behind. So this leads to compression of the carotid arteries as well as the trachea. This leads to asphyxia. In carotid, on the other hand, other this uh, in other in this other type of hold here a carotid sleeper hold the person is standing behind the person and arm is placed in the front of the neck and which the anti-cubital fossa is centered in the middle of the neck so here there is a gap between the neck and the cubital fossa so in this the pressure is uh, pressure is in the side of the neck so near the uh, carotid and the jugular arteries so the arm and the forearm presses the neck on the side and the lateral regions in compared to in choke hold where the pressure is in the midline in carotid hold the pressure is on the lateral sides so it compresses carotid arteries and jugular veins but not the vertebral arteries the consciousness is lost in 10 to 15 seconds and if pressure is released the victim may become conscious with the after in 20 to 20 seconds rarely death may occur due to hypoxia and release of catecholamines Next type of death in the custodial death is during lockup. In during lockup, the person may be tortured. It may be tortured by kicking, stomping, or on the face, neck, or abdomen. Fist blows, etc., may be there. It may leave, uh, lead to uh, sufficient force and may cause severe damage and death. So, torture because of physical torture, many types of uh, physical torture may be given by kicking, stomping, and on the face and other regions, and person may die because of torture. Sometimes if the offender was severely intoxicated, that is, if he is already already taken enough alcohol and he was arrested and person may die 
बिकॉज ही मे बिकॉज ऑफ अल्कोहलिक पॉजन और मे ऑल्सो मे एस्प्रेड द वॉमिट एंड डाई बिकॉज ऑफ चोकिंग पर्सन मे ऑल्सो मे हैव इलसी ड्रग्स इन इज पोजिशन एंड मे सॉलो द ड्रग्स टू अवॉइड डिटेंशन एंड बींग कॉट सो ही मे हैव सम ड्रग्स विथ हिम एंड ही मे टेक इट एंड डाई और द पर्सन मे मे कम अक्रॉस सम फिजिकल इंजरीज बिकॉज ऑफ फॉल्स ड्यूरिंग ड्रग अब्यूज सो इफ ही इज अ ड्रग अब्यूजर लाइक कंप्यूटर फाइनेंस कोकिन हाउस he may be have frequent falls and he may already have some physical injuries and during lock up that uh, during that time he may die because of that injuries person may also have, may have injuries that were sustained before he was arrested or sustained during arrest and may die in custody also so there is a chance that the person may have some injuries beforehand before arrest and during uh, in the custody he may that injuries may, may not be noticed and person may die because of that those injuries Sometimes the death in uh, death may also be caused because of suicide of the prisoner. Common method is hanging. Sometimes a poison may be consumed or may jump from the height or may cut his throat or of large large blood vessels. Other reasons of death in custody may be the person may die because of some um, natural causes, usually cardiovascular causes, because of um, emotional trauma. The person may undergo stress and may lead to cardiovascular arrest and person may die. Sometimes the person may already have may be ill because of some long-standing illnesses, pre-existing pre-existing diseases, and may die because of that also. Post-mortem in death in custody, a medical autopsy is needed to confirm or dispel allegation of custodial death. Always the autopsy has to meticulously done to confirm or the dispel the allegation of custodial death. So custodial death is always is a topic where. the police officer is becomes a alleged, alleged uh, criminal so here the custodian has to be proved or dispelled so to uh, to get compensations exhaustion notes must be made including description of the how the agencies was identified x x shaped incision may be taken on the back to subcutaneous of for subcutaneous tissues dissections for uh, in case of custodian death to know how the injuries have there it is also it this type of incision is, is useful to evaluate the extent of blunt injuries which are usually missed with superficial imprints or pain when the superficial imprints are pain some methods of physical abuse may not leave any apparent marks of violence such as hair pulling face slapping blows on the side of the head which may cause perforation of the eardrum so this type of injuries are very difficult to confirm and this type of injuries are uh, during autopsy also it is very difficult to see Blows to the abdomen may also cause apparent, may not cause any apparent mark, and the person may die because of internal hemorrhage. Also, that is also very difficult to prove. Such as some injuries like pinching, squeezing, and blows to the testes may produce bruising of the skin and swelling of the tendons of testes. The soles may also be stuck by baton and rollers. Those injuries may is very also very difficult to see because the skin on the sole is very thick, and bruises are usually not appreciated on soles. in many custodial custody and restraint related deaths physical physiological processes are prominent role in death which are not identified by a autopsy many physiological reasons like the person may be in a, in a stress because he is arrested and may person may die because of those few injuries may already present and it may exaggerate and person may die because of natural death medical legal aspects Nat- national human rights commission has directed law and order agency that any death because of custodial deaths or rape cases has to be reported in 24 hours of occurrence in each death of custodial death every post mortem has to be video filmed so every if any person dies because of or suspected cases of uh, custodial death occurs that post mortem has to be video recorded and it has to be the copy has to be sent to the commission sir my references thank you